Kansas Ag Report with your host, Brian Holman. Welcome to Kansas Ag Report. I'm Brian Holman, and here's our lineup for today's show. In Ag News, we'll take a look at local and national headlines affecting Kansas farmers. In our Ag Feature, we talk with Daryl Strauss from Kansas Wheat Alliance about the new wheat varieties used this year. And inside Kansas Ag, Kansas Wheat discusses Kansas Ag Day and month events. And KDA talks about From the Land of Kansas's new e-commerce site. In the news you need to know, we get our weekly update from the Kansas Livestock Association, look back at last week's market activity with the guys from Paragon, and we'll let you know about important events coming up around the state of Kansas. Glad you could join us. Closed captioning brought to you by Dick Edwards in Manhattan, selling America's number one truck, the Ford F-150, for over 30 years. DickEdwardsAuto.com Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. KansasSoybeans.org. Ag Risk Solutions. Experience, knowledge, integrity. Your crop insurance solution, Ag Risk Solutions. Dick Edwards Auto Plaza in Junction City, home of this year's Motor Trend Truck of the Year, Ram Truck. DickEdwardsAuto.com. Here's our national headlines for this week in Ag News. McDonald's USA recent announcement it is modifying its menu sourcing initiative to buy chicken only from farms which don't use antibiotics important in human medicine created more of a frenzy among the activist community than it did even with the poultry industry. Some say the company made a marketing decision using an issue guaranteed to get headlines. In fact, the company is effectively following the lead and the timeline of FDA. A review of crop insurance premiums by the Government Accountability Office shows some deficiencies in federally subsidized crop insurance, and the GAO recommends that premiums be raised. It says that in areas with higher crop production risk, such as drought-prone areas, the costs are greater and premiums might not cover expected losses. The USDA's Risk Management Agency agrees with the GAO's recommendation to increase premium rates in those areas where appropriate by as much as the full 20% a year that is allowed by law. The U.S. dairy herd grew 1% last year. The USDA National Ag Statistics Service says that there were 99.3 million dairy cows in the United States as of January 1st, up 99,000 from January 1st of 2014. The country had 4.6 million replacement heifers to start the year, up over 66,000 from the start of 2014. While the dairy herd grew by 1%, production per cow increased nearly 2%, resulting in a 2.4% increase in total milk production last year. In the local news, in response to the confirmed positive case of avian influenza in Missouri, the Kansas Department of Agriculture has established a quarantine zone in Crawford and Cherokee counties to respond quickly and decisively to the outbreak of HPAI. The transportation of all HPAI suspectable livestock, including live poultry and poultry products, including eggs, into or out of the designated control zone in Kansas is prohibited, unless authorized by an official permit. For more information, visit agriculture.ks.gov forward slash avion influenza. The market for high quality cropland has leveled off throughout Kansas. Buyers are discriminating on marginal to lower quality land due to reduced commodity prices. This is especially true in areas that use irrigation and are experiencing a decline in water levels. Prices for irrigated cropland in the area are variable but range between $3,300 to $5,000 per acre in western Kansas and $6,000 to $12,000 in northeast Kansas. The Kansas Department of Agriculture is now accepting applications for the 2015 Specialty Crop Block Grant Program. Funds are awarded to the agency by the USDA's Agricultural Marketing Service. The funds are in turn granted to projects that promote specialty crops in Kansas. Applications are due to KDA no later than May 15th. For more information, visit agriculture.ks.gov forward slash specialty crop block grant. Up next in our Ag Feature, we talk with Daryl Strouts from Kansas Wheat Alliance about the new wheat varieties used this year. You're watching Kansas Ag Report. Please stay tuned. This segment brought to you by Grass and Grain, online or in the mail, keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com. 
A.B. Flint Motor Company, selling quality used cars and trucks in Southeast Topeka at 32nd and South Kansas Avenue. Integrity Gun and Pawn, two Topeka locations specializing in firearms and training. IGPawn.com to learn more. Kansas Weed Commission, leaders in the adoption of profitable innovations for weeds. Online at kswheat.com. I'm Dr. Frank Lyons, a physician here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. As one of the only standalone stem cell centers in the U.S., we use your stem cells as therapy for arthritis and some autoimmune diseases. I'm Dr. Andrew Poe. Here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center, Utilizing the latest technology under strict protocols, we're able to harvest your stem cells from your own fat to treat a variety of medical conditions. The best part about it is, it's a same-day surgical procedure and requires no general anesthesia. The 20th Annual Kicker Country Stampede, starring Blake Shelton. Yeah, the boys round here. Florida Georgia Line. This is how we rule. Travis Tritt. Also from the Cynics main stage, Thomas Rett. Miller Lite, the official beer of Country Stampede. Our prices increase February 28th. Get yours now. Get them now before the price goes up. Like us on Facebook or buy online at CountrySampede.com. You need a partner that you can count on to be there for your business. Providing a depth of understanding to risk management issues so you don't have to. A knowledgeable support team located in your area, delivering products and services to make you more successful. Here at Blue River Traders, we have the greatest selection of rustic and western furniture in Kansas. At Blue River Traders, you can select from an inventory of Rustic Lodge or Western furnishings. With a designer on hand, Blue River Traders will help create the look you desire. Looking for that new vehicle with that low payment? Well, look what Dick Edwards in Manhattan and Junction City is offering on these vehicles. Lease payments as low as $169 a month. Or check these out at $199 a month. But wait. See what you can get for as low as $299 a month. With nine manufacturers to choose from, we've got what you want. Dick Edwards in Manhattan, Junction City. Check us out at DickEdwardsAuto.com. Choose your payment. Choose your vehicle. Choose Dick Edwards as your dealer. Thanks for staying with us this morning. We're at the uh, Kansas Wheat Commission building here at Manhattan, Kansas. We're joined by Daryl Strauss with Kansas Wheat Alliance. Daryl, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Uh, last time we got together, we were talking about a new beta program that you and Ray as a beta had started working on. On uh, uh, We take a picture of your wheat and kind of get an mm -hmm. idea of what, uh, how, many, uh, how much wheat you're going to get. So um, uh, let's talk about we're kind of through planting season. We know that... Uh, Everest and uh, Danby were the number one uh, wheats this year. Everest was the number one overall, about 15% of the total market. Um, but we've got some new products coming out. 1863 was a new one uh, that you guys kind of launched last year, but it's kind of starting to pick up speed. Right, so 1863 has been out for, uh, this is the second year now that farmers will have a chance to, to get some of that seed. And it's really adapted well in the north central part of Kansas, but we also see it in the central region and then even to the south central. And we've got some producers actually in Oklahoma that had some good luck with it this past year. So it's a little uh, later in maturity, um, kind of gives you uh, to help you spread out your risk um, because uh, Everest can be a little early or some of those other early varieties. So if you want something that will complement those early varieties, 1863 is a good choice. Also, uh, uh, very good quality, so the millers and the bakers like 1863 as well. Um, how do we get 1863 to the market? Well, I mean, any wheat variety started, you know, probably 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, the wheat breeder made some crosses. In the case of 1863, they crossed um, uh, three different varieties. One was um, Overly, that everybody I think, can remember having. Carl 92, another good K-State variety. And then one that came from Agripro called Cutter. So those three varieties were crossed with each other. The uh, resultant cross then uh, the breeder evaluates over a number of years, um, kind of cleans it up because some of these things will segregate and they'll be real ragged looking. So we want to get them nice and uniform out there. And then eventually um, the breeder will release that as a variety. So uh, 1863 came out that way. 
Then uh, the uh, rights to market that are turned over to Kansas Wheat Alliance. We get it to our seed producer group, who then eventually then get certified seed out to farmers. So it's a process that can take 10 to 12 years pretty easily. Uh, 1863, what's the best quality of that wheat that you think that most farmers like about it? Is it drought tolerant? Um, so 1863, I think yield is, is one of the, the many benefits of it. Um, also, it's got good resistance to uh, leaf rust and stripe rust right now. So uh, if we ever get back in a wetter pattern, I think we'll really see that's a variety that's gonna do well um, you know, for, for farmers. And then, of course, the, the quality, the physical quality of the, the grain uh, for the milling and baking industry really helps out, too. Well, I know in the long run, it, it takes multiple years to get something to market. And I know the, the work that you guys do, not only in this building, but across the street at K-State pays off. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about Canmark, which was a new release last year also. The Washington Kansas Ag Report. We'll see you in just a minute. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Farmers Insurance, your best protection against the unexpected. Call Agent Dan Key at 785-408-5459. Grass and grain, online or in the mail. Keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com. Blue River Traders, the finest selection of Western-style furniture for your home. BlueRiverTraders.com Thanks for staying Thanks for with see. us. We're in Manhattan at the uh, Kansas Wheat Commission building, and we're joined by Daryl Strouts from the Kansas Wheat Alliance. Uh, first segment, we were kind of talking about uh, 1863. But, Daryl, there's a lot more other seeds available, new seeds, new varieties, new opportunities for wheat farmers. Uh, kind of run us through some of those. You know, right, Brian, we're just right at the beginning, I think, of several new varieties coming out. And the ones that we've got coming out this year that farmers are, they've seen them in test plots, but now they're starting to hear more about them. Uh, one would be Oakley CL. It's a uh, red wheat for western Kansas. So it's got uh, one of the clear field genes in it. Should be really good out there. Um, it's got stripe rust resistance, leaf rust resistance, and wheat streak mosaic resistance. An interesting package for western Kansas. I think, I think they'll benefit. Kenmark is another new one um, that uh, farmers will be able to get in the central part of the state and even out into western uh, Kansas this year. Um, it's uh, got some really good drought tolerance. And it's something we haven't seen maybe in some of the K-State lines for a while. So that's something to look at. And then another interesting release is uh, Hot Rod, which is a, a new line out of K-State that we've licensed to a group called Ag Seco, and they'll be marketing that one. And it, it's really well adapted to South Central Kansas. Uh, it's a really good yield potential. Uh, but uh, because of the way that it, it reacts to the environment sometime, we wanted to make sure that it, uh, it, was, it was safe. It's kind of the, one of these racehorses, and so we want to see it in a blend. Right. And so uh, that's the only way producers will get to have hot rod is in this blend. And there'll be several different blends, but the one that we're really promoting right now is called the Wabash blend, which will be hot rod, Everest, and 1863. Mm -hmm. And that gives us a nice combination of good quality, high yield capability, um, kind of spread out uh, risks as, as far as diseases and, and the environmental stresses go. And so we think it's going to be really successful. So I encourage producers to look for the Wabash blend in the K-State performance test this year. And it, will that be available? Was it available this year? Or will it be available next year just, possibly? Yeah, just the fall 2015 will be the first time that, uh, that producers will be able to get uh, Hot Rod, the Wabash blend, or Canmark. I'm not even going to ask where we came up with the Wabash blend, but <laughs> I, I'm only wondering where we came up with that name. Anything on the horizon? We've got about a minute left here in the segment. Uh, you know, we've always got new things coming down the pike uh, right now. Um, right off the bat, uh, you know, we've got a new white wheat that, uh, for western Kansas that's kind of queued up, ready to go this fall. Got our fingers crossed that we won't have some disaster this year, um, but I think that's something we can look forward to for the producers in the western part of the state is another new good quality white wheat. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we've got to think about the people who are in the eastern part of Kansas, and not only that, but the southern part of Kansas that, that grow hard red winter wheat, so not, not necessarily the soft uh, type. That's right, yep. So we're primarily uh, hard red winter wheat throughout most of Kansas, so uh, a little bit of white wheat out west. Perfect. Daryl, thank you for your time. Thank you. Remember, wheat doesn't just show up in the uh, grocery store. It takes someone to grow it, it takes someone to make it, as well as uh, scientists to come up with blends that work well for everybody. 
Thank you, Daryl, for joining us. You're watching Kansas Ag Report. We'll see you in just a minute. Agriculture is a vital industry for Kansas, and in order to celebrate the industry and its producers, March has been named National Agriculture Month, with March 18th being proclaimed as Kansas Agriculture Day. Events focusing on ag are held statewide throughout the month. Earlier this month, the Kansas Department of Agriculture, Dillons, and Harvesters launched the Neighbor to Neighbor Statewide Food Drive. The organizations aim to raise 85,000 meals for Kansas families. These organizations, along with Kansas FFA officers and representatives of the Kansas agriculture industry, gathered to kick off the event by packing the first boxes of meals. If you're interested in donating to the Neighbor to Neighbor Statewide Food Drive, you can do so at Dillon's Food Stores statewide, at other community locations throughout the state, or visit agriculture.ks.gov for an online donation portal. On March 18th, Jim Richardson, a National Geographic photographer and Kansas native, will give a public lecture on the importance of communication and photography for ag at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater at Kansas State University's Student Union. Following Richardson's lecture, there will be a panel featuring ag experts from around the state with a dessert reception afterward. One of our goals with the From Atlanta, Kansas program is to help connect consumers across Kansas and the country with great Kansas made, grown, raised, and manufactured agricultural products. We have two focuses for helping you shop Kansas. First, we are working to increase the number of retail stores, including grocery and gift shops that are selling Kansas products. We just hosted our second Shop Kansas trade show to connect retail buyers with great Kansas companies. For those of you near and far who prefer to shop online, check out the new From the Land of Kansas Marketplace. We are working to create the marketplace as a one-stop online shop for your favorite Kansas products. The site shop.fromthelandofkansas.com currently is hosting a handful of our From Land of Kansas member products. Right now, we're starting out with a limited number of products as we are working to make the marketplace a great shopping destination. We invite you to jump over to the site for great Kansas goodies. Maybe you're looking for a unique gift or something delicious to spice up this year's Easter baskets. If you don't see your favorite product online yet, please check back with us this summer for even more options. As always, check out our blog and website for the latest information and new recipes featuring Kansas ingredients at fromthelandofkansas.com. Want to stay up on the latest? Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Brought to you by Old East Seed Farms, carrying soil-specific seed. Find them on the web at oldeseed.com. That's O-H-L-D-E seed.com. A.B. Flint Motor Company, selling quality used cars and trucks in southeast Topeka at 32nd and South Kansas Avenue. Integrity Gun and Pawn, two Topeka locations specializing in firearms and training. IGPawn.com to learn more. Impact Satellite, your local authorized direct TV dealer. Impact Satellite at 785-554-5974. Looking for that new vehicle with that low payment? Well, look what Dick Edwards in Manhattan and Junction City is offering on these vehicles. Lease payments as low as $169 a month. Or check these out at $199 a month. But wait. See what you can get for as low as $2.99 a month. With nine manufacturers to choose from, we've got what you want. Dick Edwards in Manhattan, Junction City. Check us out at DickEdwardsAuto.com. Choose your payment, choose your vehicle, choose Dick Edwards as your dealer. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. 
Tammy the Pro Home Plus is all about providing warmth and kindness to aging individuals who find it difficult to live on their own. Tammy's team is made up of experienced caregivers and nurses committed to the highest level of individualized care, focusing on health and well-being, and assisting with nutrition, grooming, medications, therapies, and daily living needs, all in a warm, caring environment. Call Tammy the Pro Home Plus today at 785-383-7094 to learn how we can help. The producer-funded Kansas Wheat Innovation Center was built to get improved varieties into the hands of farmers faster. Kansas Wheat, farmers advancing their future through wheat genetics research. This hog is head over hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Dick Edwards is taking North Central Kansas by storm. We've been bending over backwards to exceed your car buying experience for over 30 years. Choose from one of our nine different new car brands or from our second to none use selection. Currently, with over 700 vehicles to choose from, we definitely have the one for you. Whether you're coming from the north, south, east, or west, our sales and service departments will work tirelessly to do what's right for you. Dick Edwards in Manhattan and Junction City. Bending over backwards for you. You need a partner that you can count on to be there for your business. Providing a depth of understanding to risk management issues so you don't have to. A knowledgeable support team located in your area, delivering products and services to make you more successful. Seven organizations belonging to the Beef Checkoff Enhancement Working Group have signed a revised Memorandum of Understanding that identifies improvements to be sought in the National Beef Checkoff. The groups are the American Farm Bureau Federation, American National Cattlewomen, Livestock Marketing Association, Meat Import Council of America, National Cattlemen's Beef Association, National Livestock Producers Association, and the National Milk Producers Federation. Components of the MOU include increasing the current checkoff assessment rate from $1 to $2 per head. This will require a change in the current checkoff act and order. Within a year of the new legislation being signed into law, a referendum of beef producers and importers will be conducted. If a majority of checkoff payers vote in favor of the question, the assessment rate will be increased. Assessments would continue to be collected by state beef councils, which will have the authority to retain 50% of the assessment. A refund of the second dollar, but not the original $1 per head, will be available. Every five years, the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture will open a 30-day comment period for checkoff payers to request a referendum on the continuation of the checkoff and or a change in the assessment rate. If 10% or more request a referendum, a timely vote will be conducted. A simple majority will determine the outcome. Good morning. I'm Derek Hermish with Paragon Ag. So far, the month of March has produced nothing to get excited about from a grain farmer's perspective. A continuation of the story of abundant supply and not enough demand has kept a lid on prices. That coupled with the recent movement of a higher dollar and lower crude, effectively breaking out of the price ranges they had established over the month of February, has prevented any kind of a rally to develop in the grains, leaving us mired in quicksand. The grain markets right now remind me of a book I recently read to my kids called Could Be Worse, which tells the story of an old man who remains eternally optimistic in the face of a piling up of dilemmas. Anybody that's farmed long enough knows that story all too well. Without a significant reduction in planted acreage, a rally at this point seems tied to an event from Mother Nature. Wheat prices have been testing the waters of what a rally look, could look like based on continuing dry conditions and the potential of a late freeze and what it could do now that temperatures have warmed up. It's still too early to tell and you can't plan on a weather rally to market your crop. 
However, you can make decisions that leave your upside open should a weather rally occur. For those that decide to remain patient and wait to do anything more, it'll be important to remember how you feel right now so you don't let a weather rally slip by without taking advantage because we all know it could be worse. And on that note, I'm Derek Hermish. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Closed captioning brought to you by Dick Edwards in Manhattan, selling America's number one truck, the Ford F-150, for over 30 years. DickEdwardsAuto.com. Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. KansasSoybeans.org. Ag Risk Solutions, experience, knowledge, integrity. Your crop insurance solution, Ag Risk Solutions. Dick Edwards Auto Plaza in Junction City, home of this year's Motor Trend Truck of the Year, Ram Truck. DickEdwardsAuto.com. Well, that's our show for today. I hope you'll join us each week for more news and information about agriculture in the state of Kansas. I'm Brian Holman, and thanks for watching. Here at Blue River Traders, we have the greatest selection of rustic and western furniture in Kansas. At Blue River Traders, you can select from an inventory of rustic lodge or western furnishings. With a designer on hand, Blue River Traders will help create the look you desire. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. Tammy the Pro Home Plus is all about providing warmth and kindness to aging individuals who find it difficult to live on their own. Tammy's team is made up of experienced caregivers and nurses committed to the highest level of individualized care, focusing on health and well-being, and assisting with nutrition, grooming, medications, therapies, and daily living needs, all in a warm, caring environment. Call Tammy the Pro Home Plus today at 785-383-7094 to learn how we can help.